What is up my fellow creepy collectors? This is Hasoka. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me on another fantastic video. Today I am super excited to go over a purchase that I made. This purchase, this collection find came from one of you all so I want to thank you guys for sending me a message and offering me collections here and there. I'm really thankful for a lot of those collections or just you know bulk finds or things like that. You know I really do appreciate when you guys reach out to me. It's easier to reach out to me on Instagram so if you guys Check the description below. You can find my Instagram, see pictures of my cards, things like that. I don't know why I said my cards. I don't know. I'm going to start saying howdy, which I do, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah, this collection, I bought two EX series master sets. One of them was EX Unseen Forces, and the other one was Delta Species. I paid $3,500 each, and they are basically pack fresh. There's a little bit of centering issues and typical corner stuff that happens. I've opened four or five Unseen Forces boxes, so these are these are really good quality, so I'm very happy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into the video. So today we're gonna go over Delta Species first, then we're gonna go into Unseen Forces. So I'm not gonna show you guys the um, commons and uncommons just because you're gonna see those in reverse. And you're going to see all of the EXs and the gold stars. So let's see, unseen, no, Delta Species, I said that first. So let's go ahead. So here we have Pack Fresh Delta Species Reverse Hollows. Something unique and different about the EX series compared to all other sets is the fact that the EX series has the name. I take that back, not all of the sets have it but a majority of the sets have the name and the reverse species. And also they have gold lettering on top for some of the, uh, the rare cards that are reverse hollows. So these are fantastic sets. Delta species, if you didn't know, a lot of these cards have a different typing. So one that's really familiar is the uh, Charizard and Gyarados Gold Star. Those are different typing. Gyarados is red like you find in the Lake of Rage. So he's a shiny form and the card is fire energy. Charizard is black like a shiny form. And so he's darkness energy. So you get a little bit of difference with the Delta Species. And for that reason, a lot of people really love the Delta Species compared to other ones. So here you got Volbeat. Bag on as you, you know, dragon type, but it's fire in this one. And you can see the Delta species over here as well are the symbol. Bag on Beldim is lightning in this one. Cubone. And here are some of the big cards in the set. I know they're commons and uncommons, but you get the ditto forms of the starters and Geodude. Not sure why it was a Geodude, but yeah. I think I graded this back in the day and sold it for $70. This card in a PSA 10 is like, I don't know, 500 bucks. It's it's a it's a really interesting card. The they're clay, I believe these are clay, which is Yukamora, Yuka Yukamori, probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but these are really popular cards. And they're quite valuable actually. Just some of these regular commons and uncommons. Dratini. Got Drowsy here. Some really great artwork. You're going to get into, uh, I think there's a, a Sandshrew that comes up later on that is stunning artwork. Just Oh, this is Kamiya as well. I think you'll hear that a lot in SM Pratt's videos and a few others. People really love Kamiya's artwork. Just fantastic. Eevees. Holon's Magnemite. I think there's only a few cards labeled Holon. And yeah, just we'll get into the quality of the cards later on when I get to the bigger cards, but just oh man, I'm just happy with this purchase. One of uh one of the people that follow me on Instagram let me know about uh, somebody was selling some master sets and things like that, and this person might be putting out some EX sets for sale, and they weren't really getting anywhere. I worked my magic, I flirted with them a little bit, gave them a little winky face, things like that. Um, no, not really. I, I just was polite and kind and they told me what sets they had. They didn't have every EX series set, but they had quite a few and they were master sets. And I managed to work out a deal. They held it for me for about three weeks and then they had some issues with payment. Uh, PayPal was trying to keep their funds. Just Things didn't quite work out. And I was really happy that the person just, you know, they honored the deal. They, they held it for me. They were patient with me, which is rare in, you know, doing deals and purchases these days. I don't know how many of you guys do um, purchases, but you'll see Instagram people calling out each other for wasting time or just even asking questions. Some people, how much is that or things like that. And so 
you know, I, I do worry about that because times I get overwhelmed with a lot of deals and there's a lot of money coming in and out and I don't always have the funds to make payment right away, especially on, you know, this collection here, 7000 that's a lot. I was waiting for some payment. Things didn't go through for one to two weeks with some sales. And then finally it worked out and I got the money for the funds and or I got the funds for this deal and it worked out. So sometimes working with people works and sometimes you got to learn how to negotiate that, messaging the person, hey, by the way, uh, here's a screenshot of you know PWCC payout. You know here's the payout from this auction company. I got the funds coming uh, for whatever reason they didn't create the the payout request and it didn't make it towards this week's Wednesday, but they they pay out next Wednesday and things like that. And so doing things like that to reassure and establish that relationship with your your seller really makes a big difference. And that's how I've gotten a lot of these collections when I didn't have the cash on hand for two to three weeks and they were willing to work with me. So I think. It's definitely a skill learning to build that relationship with folks like I did with the the guy that sold me a lot of the Wizards of the Coast. Great guy. I send him emails every now and then even though I have no intention of purchasing anything. And that's something I should have done in the past. And I think that really just practicing those things really sets the groundwork for great relationship building. And even though the person doesn't have anything to offer, you're always kind of being grateful and it comes across in your messages. And so... You know, send out messages. Thank you if you took some pictures. Maybe buy something every now and then for somebody that, you know, you know that card's not going to be a PSA 10, but it's a 9. It took a lot of photos. Just practicing that has, has led me to this. You know, uh, some of the advice Z and G gave with, you know, the, the tuna fish, you know, not always being the first one to bite. And so things like this, they worked out in my favor. So a lot of those skills that you develop really help with negotiating and establishing a relationship and get, and building that trust because a lot of these collections are so expensive now, most of us are priced out. So that's kind of what happened with this collection. And I'll, I'll go back more to the cards, but that's just kind of sharing a little bit about the details with making a, a collection purchase and a deal and kind of you know rebuilding this collection. It's It's turning into a bit of a business to get those funds to buy the cards that I need. So those are just strategies and tips that I use to, to get these collections. Sand True, this is probably the best artwork out of the entire set. I'm going to grade this card. Whether it comes back a 9 or a 10, I'm going to keep it. It's going to be in my collection. It's such a fantastic artwork. That's like me half the time. I'm in over my head, buried up. I look around, confused. I have no idea what the hell's going on. Um, yeah, that's, that's me a lot of times in this, in this hobby. It's so overwhelming a lot of the time. Especially with the price increases right now. As I'm recording this... Um, it's after March with the PSA price increases. And so I, I won't upload these videos just because I don't want to upload a lot of videos until I've completed my transactions. I know sometimes with the certifications, uh, in the background, you know, those I've already purchased and made deals with, but you can find people and things like that. And I don't want people jumping in on my deals. So that's, that's another thing. Uh, one thing I, I don't like is when people cover the certs, I always find that interesting. But now that I, I'm getting into these deals and, and people are willing to pay double or triple market value just to find a card that they want, oh man, Master Ball, you, you kind of have to be careful and protect yourself a lot of times. You know, covering the certs for cards that I have, there's cards that I haven't even shown that I bought months ago. I mean, got almost a year ago and I haven't even shown them off just because I don't want people to know where I got them from during the meantime. You know, there's deals that I'm still working on. And I just don't want people to hop in on them. So uh, that's kind of where where I am with that and why I don't show a lot of the cards that uh, I buy right away. Or, or I don't publish the videos until the deal is gone and like a month has passed by. So some Delta Species regular holos. We got Beedrill, Crobat, Dragonite here, I mean Electric type, Espeon, Flareon, Guard of War. I did pick up some of these and quite a few of these are off in my PSA submission and they should hopefully be back within the next two to three months. Hopefully I'll add some cards to the collection, but if not, I paid $10 a card and a lot of these cards are $100 to $200 in a PSA 9, so I paid like $10, $15 for some of these hollows. $10 a card, $25 total. It's, it's easy math and it's like, you know, if the card sells for $100, PSA 9 on average, and I pay 25 that's a $75 profit, and there's more than 100 EX Series cards that I graded. And I imagine there's going to be quite a few 10s as well. 
EX series seems to be doing better for me than Wizards of the Coast. Some heavy hitters here. Tyranitar's Fire Energy in this set, just like Salamence. So yeah, those are some of the Delta species. Let's get into Unseen Forces, my absolute favorite set of all time. Gen 2, it kind of reminds me of, you know, gold and silver. You'll see in the, the set symbol. Let's see if I can get to focus here. So you've got Ho-Oh and Lugia's as wings here. And so the set symbol is made up of that. A lot of the Pokemon are Gen 2. And it reminds me a lot about Neo Genesis, or Neo Genesis, Neo Revelation. Just, I mean, the artwork for the regular Hollows is incredible. It's not until recently, I mean, look at this for Alligator. That's just some fantastic artwork. I'm lucky to have picked that one up in a 10. Flareon as well is such an awesome artwork. A lot of these cards are really undervalued and not really appreciated for how difficult they are to pull compared to, you know, Wizards of the Coast. God, you got Houndoom. And so, you know, there's 13 EXs and Unseen Forces. You get about two to three EXs per box just because you're going to get a gold star in every other box. So if you get two EX EXs, you're going to get one gold star. These gold stars had that issue where somebody found 5,000 of them, and so they're not worth as much. So when you get a gold star pull, this is the set where you really don't want it to happen. So even if you get three EXs, you still need... You know, three is four, so it's at least four boxes plus one more to get the to get all thirteen of them. Compared to say Wizards of the Coast, you need one box to get about seventy-five percent of the hollows in there, and that doesn't include the reverse hollows that you only get thirty-six of per box. So you need at least you know three, four, five boxes in some cases to get all of the cards in reverse hollow for a master set. So I think it's undervalued with the EX series, with how difficult it is to find just the boxes themselves, how to get enough cards to get each one in the set, plus the card quality as well. Some of these sets are worse than others, and, excuse me, it's just very difficult to get these sets. And so over time, I think people will fully appreciate the difficulty in getting the cards themselves in general, the card quality, and grading as well. So in time, I really think these will be up in value, and some of these EXs are similar to some of the lowest pop Wizards of the Coast Hollows. You know, you've got uh, Lugia in the background here, PSA 10. That card is pop 40, whoops, it's, it's probably like pop 46 last time I checked. And Lugia from Neo Genesis is pop 42. Obviously that card is much harder to grade than this one. But when you take into consideration the fact that it would take you two boxes of Neo Genesis at about 30,000 each to pull one Lugia. It would take you about four boxes of Unseen Forces to pull one Lugia, which is going to cost you about 15 to 20 grand each. So you're looking at about similar cost, same population. And I mean, this is the first, I think this is the first card that had a 200 energy attack. So, yeah, there's so much to these sets that really hasn't really come to light and has been overshadowed by Wizards of the Coast, as people have more of a connection with that. Let's get into some reverse hollows quickly through here. But, yeah, there's so much to the EX series that's really just not talked about or really understood. And I think over time, that's going to grow along with the appreciation. Another thing that most people don't know about EX series with the reverse hollows, besides the name... And here you also have unique hollow patterns to most of them. I think almost every set has a unique reverse hollow pattern. This one has kind of like a stardust plus the pokeball in the background. So just overall just artwork is just incredible. Unique designs to almost every set. Such a great style and flow. I mean like I mentioned gold and silver. A lot of these Pokemon. Let's, man these things are just so fresh and they're just stuck together. <laughs> normally, that normally people might think that's a bad thing, but I've bought. Um, I've come across about in 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 my collecting time frame. I've come across about five collectors with master sets of most things, and I've. This is the second one that I've bought out. The first one I only bought Deoxys, Team Rock Returns, and Fire Red Leaf Green. Each one of those EX is graded a PSA ten, except for Crobat. The gold star is all PSA 10 as well, you know, Rayquaza, Latias, oh no, Latios, but not Latias, you know, things like that, Torchic and, and um, 
uh, not Mudkip, but Trico and Torchic, graded PSA 10, the Flareon and stuff like that. So just, I had a chance to buy a lot of these and when you find them, they're, they're sticky like this. I don't know what it is about these pack fresh cards that are just hard to pull apart, but I don't know, that, that gives me a good feeling that cards like that are going to grade well and overall the quality and just the person that cared for it was somebody who was really a collector and really cared for these cards. So those things are good for me. I'm happy that I got these purchases. You will notice here uh, some of these kind of have like a, a line dividing it, not quite a, um, a print line or yeah, I guess you'd call that a print line, but not a print scratch. I guess that'd be the difference, you know, with, um, with certain cards you'll have print scratches versus print lines. You know, most commonly with Dragon Frontiers. All right, so getting through this. Mill Tank. And another, this card is another stunning artwork in the EX series. <laughs> and it just flew out of my hands. All right, one last little show before we get to the big hitter. So if you guys have stayed tuned so far, thank you guys for watching and hearing me ramble. I think there's some good information here for those of you that are interested in the EX series and things like that. So this was the only thing that wasn't a master set. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, but you're paying pack fresh for a master set of these, these sets that would cost you or require you to open up three to four or five boxes to get a master set and all the EXs and gold stars. So for what I paid, I um, honestly can't complain very much. I'm not going to try to use it as a tool um, to bargain with the, the seller. I've done that before where cards were damaged or missing and I was able to get a discount or receive a refund from the seller and also receive a discount on the next purchase just because they felt bad. You know, it's kind of a tool that you can use. Sometimes using tactics and tricks can backfire. I'll give one example before showing the EXs and gold stars. I was looking to buy a Vaporeon PSA 10 from Unseen Forces, just the regular hollow. It was on eBay for $299 and I thought, I knew I'd seen sold listings for $400 to $500, but I paid $200 six months back for quite a few hollows and I put an offer for $250. The guy got back to me and raised it up to $500 because the last sold listing on eBay was $465. So sometimes using these, these crutches or these tools or these tactics to kind of, you know, I don't know if you want to say manipulate or kind of... Um, bargain or negotiate with your your seller or the collector that you're finding but sometimes these things backfire when you just don't buy for the price that it's at and you often miss things and then you know six months to a year later when the cards come back from psa you got a better grade than you thought or the prices have gone up things like that so be careful sometimes when you use a lot of these tools to negotiate sometimes it'll backfire a lot of times the items are more scarce and it's in the seller's favor to just wait for somebody to pay full price or, you know, sometimes these days wait for somebody to pay double or triple market value because they got more money than brains. So you never know what's going to happen. So here are the big daddies of the set. So we got Titar, one of my absolute favorite cards of all time. Just look at the hollow on this card. The background, the design, four freaking attacks. Look at this. I mean, I'm losing control right now just looking at it. This is just shattering my brains. Like, I'm derailing the conversation. I can't even... I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. You know? <laughs> but yeah, this is just this is just a stunning artwork. Oh, man. Just, I have it in a 10 in the back. I might save this one just because it's off-center and get a autograph with it and get it autographed and, and graded for my collection. I think I would, I would, think I would really like that. Um, but the quality is just... No scratches. This one's off-center. Not going to get a 10. So I'll go over some of the quality here. I mean, just look. No scratches. I mean, holy crap. Just look at that. Let me see if I can get up in here. Let me get all up in here. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't want to take too much time with showing off the quality of the cards, but just... God damn. No freaking scratches. I mean, on the back, you do have some corner issues right there. But this is, besides centering, I mean, it could still get a, a 9. I doubt it would get a 10. It might get a CGC 9.5. But this is just, I mean, this is the quality of this set. And it's my favorite set. If I 
I just put it in a binder. I honestly wouldn't care, but I need the funds to pick up the other cards that I don't have, and I don't mind buying PSA 9s later on or CGC 9s to build my set. But yeah, the quality is just freaking and unbelievable. Let's get into some more cards here. Oh, man, just, just amazing. I love this set. You know, I, I for me, it's nostalgic just because gold and gold and silver were the sets that I played. You know, as a kid, you know, we didn't get a uh, weren't poor, but we weren't rich. It's just I didn't get to start playing Pokemon until gold. And I just couldn't afford, you know, the batteries nor the Game Boy nor the games. So it wasn't until much later that I actually got into the games and I was really able to enjoy it. And for me, hunting down Tyranitar, powering him up, and getting him to the point where I could take down the Elite Four with almost Tyranitar by himself. It was just, to me, that's just, peak Pokemon is just Pokemon Gold. Just favorite generation Pokemon. You got Kanto and Johto regions. I mean, most of the games now, they skimp on it. But just, you honestly can't compare. And then Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Oh, my God. Just, that game is just, it's incredible. I love it. You know, it's just a fantastic game. Maybe one day with kids, I'll be able to let them play those games remastered on the Switch. Celebi, probably the, the most, just look at... So the reason I love this card is because in Japanese, you get some of the shining cards and you get some of the uh, crystals that have this... It's almost like just a gloss layer of just like sprinkled, just... Um, hollow pattern it just looks stunning it's like it's floating over it it just gives it this fuzzy look and in English I think that this is the only card that comes close to having that same amount of hollow pattern just how much and then look at perfectly just a hall a, uh, <laughs> a, uh, a swirl right there god my brain's just see um, I'm losing control you know just yeah, oh my god, just fantastic set. I just love the artwork. I have most of these in PSA 10. And I want a binder set as well, so I've picked up lots of extras. I mean, look at me. I'm just, I'm ecstatic like Blissey. I'm just like, I'm about to roll out of here after this. I got so much energy I need to, it's like a tsunami of energy is just coming over me right now. Just, oh, I mean, are we talking about Pokemon or just other things right now? Just, I don't know. I'm, ex I'm excited. This is just, I love this set and just the artwork I and mean, look at that hollow or swirl pattern there even meganium meganium is stupid but I in this set it still does it for me it's just ho oh, oh rockets Persian my girlfriend would say let me let me clean you up right now I'm just like drooling all over this set it's just ah, man, I just love it so Entei Raikou and Suicune you're all familiar with that. Love the artwork. It's kind of lost a little bit of its appeal after the Gold Star incident. And then here we go. Groudon, Kyogre. Look at his little fins doing a little dance right there. Metagross does have some print lines, but the hollow is clean. And the three Eevees. So overall, this was just a fantastic purchase. Let me know what you guys think of the, the video. Talking a little bit more in detail about you know purchases and and how to do um, trades and negotiations and things like that and just what do you guys think about what I purchased you know and overall if you guys made it to this point thank you guys for watching I appreciate all of the help and support that you guys give me give me a like comment below and if you guys come across anything like this let me know I'm always willing to buy it and you know give you a finder's fee for helping me out I appreciate everything you guys have a fantastic day till next time